What is that? Something unusual. Three out of nine possible bright at our location. The world of this movie is so unique. It's modern day action, but with orcs and fairies. Everybody's just trying to get along and have a good life. All of the races are different. It's this interesting mashup of the classic fantasy things and elements, but it's set in the world of the LAPD and the rough neighborhoods. You want it to feel like society is just on the edge of breaking and everything's a little worn out, a little tired. You'll see our police cars, they're beat up. The biggest challenge in this film has been to integrate the fantasy elements into our society. And there's a lot of R&D that went into developing the look of the world. David had these graffiti artists graffitiing all the sets, not just in English, but in Orkish. That's a real alphabet, a real language for the orcs. In this world, it's very hierarchical. You have the elves on top and the humans are in the middle. And then sort of at the bottom, the real blue collar guys are your orcs. And elves basically own downtown LA and it's a very fancy posh place. I hate elf town. Besides being the ruling class, they have special powers. You don't want to have an enemy in an elf. I did a lot of karate training and as well as like all the physical working out. I've been able to do things in a fantasy world that I probably wouldn't have been able to do before. It's just this beautiful blend and collision of these worlds. We did a lot of research and development with Joel to kind of figure out the right cocktail of materials and structure and construction, developing the orcs and developing the mass. Performing with that makeup, I was very worried that it would be entirely restrictive of facial expression. And it wasn't that way at all. It was so light and responsive. Do not wink at me like that. We went through a lot of different paint schemes for Joel until we landed on something that maintained that organic look. Most of the orcs, we had to get muscle suits made for them, not just, you know, a puffy shirt underneath. Like, we had to get a suit that actually looked like muscles. And what we end up with is just this amazing cocktail of makeup and Joel and performance, and he's so believable. Hey, don't get me stabbed. Live orcs always got to be the bad guys. It was very important to me to shoot in the LA that I remember, Carther Park, Westlake District, very dense neighborhood of immigrants with all its different smorgasbord of characters. It's like a society that it's so wonderfully designed. You've got this sense of that integration. You're not stealing that wine. I try to make it as realistic as possible. It's daring in a lot of ways, and because of that, it's a lot of fun and it's a great ride. You get to take a look at society from this really bizarre standpoint. They don't teach that at the academy. No, they do not.